Welcome to the Sage Advice Podcast, transforming the way people think and work so their organizations can thrive. Well, hi, everyone, and welcome to our podcast. I'm Ed Kless, and with me today is Rohit Arora. Rohit is the CEO of biz to credit and is one of America's top experts in small business lending and fintech. In 2011, he was named New York City's top entrepreneur by Crane's New York Business, which named Biz to Credit among New York City's t- fastest 50 of 2014 and 2016. Rowett is frequently quoted on small business, banking, and technology trends, and he has appeared in the Wall Street Journal, on CNBC, Fox Business, the New York Times, Bloomberg, American Banker, and others. He has met with top executives from the Federal Reserve and the Small Business Administration and has testified before the President's Council on Economic Affairs on matters related to small business lending. Welcome to the Sage Advice Podcast, Rohit Arora. Yeah, thanks for the opportunity. Well, first off, why do you do what you do? That's a good question. So, you know, I'm a first generation immigrant into this country and, uh, you know, living in New York, uh, I've seen firsthand how difficult it has been for small businesses to get access to credit even during times. And every recession seems to bring, you know, more trouble for them. So, so in some time in 2007, 2008, you know, me and my brother, we got this idea of, you know, starting something where, you know, we can use the power of technology and internet and bring an easier access to capital uh, for businesses. And, uh, and we are really very passionate about doing it. So this is more, uh, then work it's a, it's a passion and we really like doing it because we can help you know thousands of small businesses and now we have seen the power of a platform like this where we have again helped thousands and thousands of small businesses even during this crisis with the ppp programs and other you know guidance that we have been able to provide yeah let's talk a little bit about that what what have we learned from the administering of the paycheck protection program with in small businesses yeah, so I would say this is a phenomenal program in a sense that when I compared the 2008 crisis with this crisis, I think the one big difference has been the, uh, you know, the bipartisan support and the focus of policymakers on ensuring that small businesses get access to credit, you know, pretty quickly. And I think the numbers have been phenomenal. I would say, you know, just to give you an idea, you know, typically in every year, SBA uh, guarantees around $28 billion of loans. Uh, you know, through banks and in two months time, you know, SBA through banks and non-bank lenders like ours, you know, they have been able to administer almost $520 billion of, you know, loans already. So that's like, you know, 20 times more money gone to small businesses in less than two months, you know, compared to what goes in a full year. Uh, I think there have been three distinct trends out there. One obviously is that, you know, the consumer, which is the small business owners have totally shifted online 100% because, during this crisis, they had no option. They had to apply online. They had to get all their stuff done online. Uh, you know, uh, there have been a lot of, you know, backlash and a lot of, you know, bad experience that a lot of business owners have got from their existing large deposit bank partners, you know, when they were trying to get money through this program. And the third thing it has also shown is that, you know, uh, uh, the next phase of the PPP program, including forgiveness, is, is even more dependent on technology than on people and on, on and our uh, branches. So, so this is a very important time, you know, that as the paradigm shift is happening in the small business landscape, you know, how both the borrowers as well as lenders are able to cope up with this situation. And we're speaking at the end of June in 2020, and the COVID crisis is obviously in, still in full swing. We're talking about the, the, the PPP. But for, from where you sit right now, what would you say is the, the, the shape of most small businesses that you come in contact with? So I would say for small businesses, this recession has been very tough. I think PPP has been a great support for them because without PPP, it would have been very tough for majority of the small businesses to even survive. Having said that, the economies are starting to reopen, but it's a very slow start. And it's also, you know, there is a lot of uncertainty still around the infection rate and wherever the economies have reopened, the infection rates have gone up. I think having said that, there is going to be a lot of pent up demand you know, coming up uh, from consumers uh, and as well as small businesses themselves. And I think what most of the borrowers or the small businesses need to realize is that they have to 
survive the next few months and everybody needs to start thinking whatever kind of business they have that how they can use technology and digital tools better because what this crisis has really shown is that that's the most important way of actually you know surviving or even thriving during this crisis and my view is that you know businesses which are able to adapt themselves businesses which are able to you know get to a point where they can you know uh, relook at their business models reinvent their business models and they will do very well unlike the last recession this recession there is there are very few underlying structural problems in the economy so once we have a vaccination in play or let's say if the virus goes away you know uh, at that point of time the recovery will be extremely sharp now whether that happens 3 months down the line or a year down the line nobody knows that so obviously short term is all about hunkering down and being smart but medium term is all about you know catching that growth back Sure. And we're pretty excited about the new partnership and alliance between Sage and, and Biz to Credit. And what is that going to mean for Sage customers? Absolutely. We have been very uh, you know, excited about it because we are seeing there are going to be two or three fundamental things for Sage customers. One is they get access to a fully digital platform of Biz to Credit, uh, you know, which has been tried and tested uh, by thousands and thousands of clients. You know, we have all uh, the capabilities to give them a smooth, you know, single sign-on experience with all the data, multiple products that we have, including alternative lending, SBA lending, credit card, and other products. And I think the biggest benefit that Sage customers are going to get on top of it is that it's not just access to credit, but also access to, you know, tools to manage their cash flow, access to tools to, you know, look at their credit worthiness, you know, ability to improve their credit worthiness, to take smarter decisions and become better businesses. I think that we find always is a great value add that you can do in any business owner's lives. And to today's way is being fully digital. You know, that's the only way that you can scale up and give the right, you know, advice to these businesses. And I think after the PPP crisis, this is a right time. Uh, because we're also launching a PPP forgiveness platform next week uh, for, you know, businesses, which will be free of cost. And that's where also payroll data can be very easily, you know, integrated. And that will also mean that for Sage as a payroll company, you know, it also gives them an ability to attract new customers and the ability to offer just more than payroll now on one single platform. And Rohit, we have an exit question that we ask all of our guests, and that's, who is a hero of yours and why are they a hero? I, for me, the hero is a, is a small business owner, you know, who works 24 by 7, who's out there, you know, and I've seen during this crisis also, you know, they have been very, uh, you know, conscious about, you know, what their people are doing, you know, how they can bring their workers back. Uh, they have been under tremendous amount of stress, I would say, you know, during this crisis and they still are. But, but most of them are very optimistic. Most of them are very positive and they want to, you know, restart their businesses and, and restart the U.S. economy. And I think those are the guys who are powering our economy every single day in spite of all the issues, challenges and problems. And I really, uh, you know, they're my heroes. You know. Right. Lastly, Rohit, how can somebody get a hold of you? Absolutely. So you, you can come on bistocredit.com. You can write an email at info at bistocredit.com. That comes directly to me. You know, anything you write on info at bistocredit.com, we have toll-free numbers, we have you know, a large sales teams of our, you know, uh, people, what we call our case managers or our loan specialists who can help you. And the best thing is that this is all free of cost for small businesses. So we don't charge them any money for them to use our platform, use any resources, get any consultation and uh, read any content, get access to credit, get renewals, get uh, cash flow advice. And we also have done one more thing now, which I'm very proud to say during this whole crisis, we have done, you know, a, a series of webinars and a series of, you know, now, you know, series of uh, tutorial kind of stuff. And we are going to promote it even more, uh, you know, during and after the crisis. And we are starting to find, you know, business owners were not very engaged on these webinars earlier, but this crisis has made them engaged. You know, we are like doing webinars now almost every second week where we are getting thousands and thousands of business owners to attend it. And we're also getting a very positive feedback from them that it is extremely valuable for them. So we are bringing in different experts, different groups of people to come and talk. And that is being a very valuable, you know, resources that we have created here. All right. Rohit Aurora, 
CEO of biz to credit Thanks so much for being a guest on the Sage Advice Podcast. Thank you for your good time. For more Sage Advice, visit and subscribe at sageadvicepodcast.com.